Hello and welcome. Today we have another MMS speaker interview. Today I'm joined by David and Trevor. Hey guys, how's it going? Great, Lee, how are you? Hey, I'm doing pretty good myself. So let's talk about your sessions. So you guys actually have, it sounds like you have two sessions together and then you're also very active this year at the conference. You also have a couple other sessions that you may be doing on your own or with other people. But let's, let's start off with just some introductions. Uh, David, if you could just start first, tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and what you do. Yeah, thanks. Um, my name is David O'Brien. Uh, German born, half Scottish, now based in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, working for Diligent uh, as a principal consultant for everything around automation, um, config manager, PowerShell, orchestrator, SMA, all that kind of stuff. Cool. And oh, Trevor? Yeah, and oh, go ahead. David's still going. <laughs> and I'm a um, Microsoft MVP for enterprise client management. Forgot that one. That's important. Yeah. All right, Trevor. Uh, my name is Trevor Sullivan. Uh, today is actually my first day, October 22nd, as the uh, Director of Training and Content Development with Opsgility. Uh, we're a firm focused on Azure training content, uh, delivery and development. And um, I'm a Microsoft MVP in Windows PowerShell as of April 2014. And I've got four sessions coming up at MMS. Okay, awesome. Great backgrounds on for both of you. Uh, let's start. Let's talk about the session that you guys. Uh, it's just you two up there in front on the stage. Uh, this session is called Automate Your Environment Cloud Style. Um, guys, go ahead and tell us a little bit about what that session's all about. So uh, the this session is going to focus on a couple of different things. One, we're going to talk about automation of the Azure platform using PowerShell. Uh, we'll touch on the Service Management API and the Azure Resource Manager API. And additionally, we'll talk about how to automate Azure resources using the Azure Automation feature, which is still in preview today. Yeah, we'll probably also go a bit into how the PowerShell workflow engine works, what gotchas are around all that. Um, so how do you actually do all that automation? Okay, great. And now you two are also in another session, uh, also at Jeff Wooters. And this one I see on the uh, schedule site that it's filling up already. This is called PowerShell uh, Practical Tips and Tricks. Could you guys tell us a little bit about that one? David, why don't you start? Yeah, sure. Um, I guess that session will be all about best, best practices, our experiences from the field, what we found, what is good to do in PowerShell, what isn't really good to do, um, tips and tricks, what should you do, what shouldn't you do, uh, what's cool in PowerShell, what's not as cool. Yeah, all that. Yeah, so to add on to what David has already stated, you know, we'll look at some new things in PowerShell version 5. Uh, the preview version is available today, so we've got some new things like classes in PowerShell 5. Um, additionally, we've got some new features that came out in PowerShell version 4 as well as some additional fixes. Um, so we'll just be talking about how to use those. Okay, great. You know, it sounds like a pretty... Uh, I, I think the practical PowerShell tips and tricks is almost... Uh, I feel like anyone at the conference can be there. Um, you know, sometimes automate your environment cloud style. There may be some areas that some people may not touch on, some modules people may not have really every any practical use in for their environment given at the at the current state and time. But uh, practical PowerShell tips and tricks definitely sounds like some. There's going to be something for everyone in that session. Um, so guys, we talked about the sessions that you will be sharing together. Let's talk about, uh, we'll just take turns. Uh, if you could just tell us a little bit about some of the, your own independent sessions that you may have on your own or sharing with another, if you could just give us a quick, uh, just let us know what other sessions you guys are doing at the conference this year. Go ahead, David. Um, yeah, I'm having another session with Jeff Wouters, um, on PowerShell design state configuration. Um, we're going to touch what's been released in PowerShell 4 and all the new features in PowerShell 5 that are still currently in preview. Um, and I'm having a session by my own 
on um, config manager and service management automation in combination and how that can actually help you in your environment. Okay, Trevor, how about you? So I've got a couple of sessions in addition to what we've already talked about. The first one is around configuration manager, uh, system center configuration manager application model. Uh, so we're going to talk about how to utilize PowerShell to augment uh, detection methods and global conditions, as well as touching on how to use PowerShell to augment the compliance settings feature, which used to be known as desired configuration management in SCCM 2007. Uh, the second session I have, uh, separate from David O'Brien, is going to be event-driven development with PowerShell. So we're going to talk about how to use PowerShell to build uh, event-driven applications using uh, things like WMI eventing, uh, permanent WMI event subscriptions, uh, .NET event subscriptions, and so on. Cool stuff. Okay, guys. Well, uh, you're definitely going to be very busy uh, this year at the conference and probably in the coming weeks getting your presentations all together. Um, in the meantime, where can people find you online? Where can, you have a blog, Twitter? Let us know where we can find you. Sorry, I don't have Twitter. No, no Twitter for <laughs> Trevor. Uh, no, you can find me on Twitter at uh, PCGeek86. Uh, additionally, you can find me on my blog uh, slash website at trevorsullivan.net. And you can find me on a variety of other communities like GitHub at PCGeek86, CodePlex at PCGeek86. Uh, I'm also on Stack Overflow. Um, they don't really have a user-friendly uh, username, but uh, if you search for Trevor Sullivan on Stack Overflow, I'm pretty active on there as well. Um, yeah, my Twitter handle is David underscore O'Brien. I'm pretty active there. My blog is david-obrien.net. Um, and yeah, just like Trevor all over the place. Yeah. yeah, I know I can definitely say I've been following the both of you for a long time. I've gotten a lot of value out of your posts and uh, all the things that you guys do. And I'm sure your sessions will certainly follow suit. So, hey, guys, I want to thank you guys for taking the time tonight to or this morning in David's case to uh, connect with us and tell us a little bit about your sessions. Uh, we like to keep these short and sweet. So, guys, uh, this will be all for today. So thanks a lot. And I'll see you thanks, at MMS. Lee. Thank you. Bye.